Today, we'll talk about how to enable real-time messaging with Signal in Visual Studio. I have a very simple minimal web API that exposes a hello endpoint. So first step, let's go ahead and add Signal to build our services. The next step is to map the Signal hub at this. In this case, we are calling our Signal Hub Reminder Hub. Let's go ahead and define it. Now that we have defined the Signal Hub, we should be able to go ahead and update our API. So we'll replace the hello endpoint with a broadcast endpoint. Once we get the message, it broadcasts the message to all the connected clients. We need to get the iHub context. So we'll get the iHub context from the DI. Right, should be able to build the API application here. Okay, let's move to our connected client, which is going to be a Blazor Basm application. Let's first add the Signal client package to the Blazor Basm application. I'll search for Signal client. I'll install the latest stable version of the application, latest stable version of the package. Okay, now that the package is added, let's open the index.racer file. First, we will add the required imports okay the code for our racer is going to be very simple it's going to iterate over the reminders that we have and just display them so let's add the code for connecting to the signal hub so I'll add the code here so if you see we have a hub connection we have a list of reminders um, on the initialization we call into our uh, Signal Hub, and this is the uh, name we had provided. And while receiving the message, we update the reminders list and we dispose. So very simple Blazor Vasm client. Um, we need to make one more update to our API application for this to work. So we go back to our API application. We have to enable cross-origin request. So um, we'll enable course and we will define um, the local host port from where the Blazor Vasm application is going to run. And we also enable the response compression options. Okay, now that uh, we have added both the client code and the API code, let's go ahead and save. Let's build the whole application. Okay, we'll start running the API application first. Okay, the app is running. Let's hit the endpoint. You can see that I have a broadcast endpoint and I should be able to try this out. Let's make sure that we have the client also running so that we can see the message once we uh, send the message through the API. So I'll go ahead and run the Blazor Vasm application. Okay, the application is running. I'll go ahead and refresh this. We'll see that uh, it shows the heading. And if I send a reminder message, we should see that the message is immediately displayed in our client. And we should be able to send more, more of these. Okay, so the message um, is again uh, sent to the client. Um, we could have a function app that sends this message on a periodic basis. So in this case, I have a timer trigger and for demo purposes, I've set it to run every two seconds that we can see the messages here. So I'll go ahead and run this function app. So you'll see that every two seconds, we should start uh, seeing messages pop up here because the function app is going to send the message to the API and the API will immediately update all the connected clients. And we should be able to see the same behavior if we were to open another client. So we should see that every two seconds, we should um, start seeing the message show up here. Uh, hope you enjoyed the session. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.